This is incrementing and decrementing values across a range using checkboxes. So previously, we incremented and decremented on this cell using these buttons, which work great. And as I click them, it goes up and down just as wanted. However, the big challenge here is the buttons. A button can exist anywhere and will always refer to the same range. There's no way to say this button in this space refers to this cell where a button here refers to this cell. Buttons just don't work that way. They're just images over top of the spreadsheet. There's no way for the sheet to really know where that sheet is, where that button is and change based on that. So let's go to extensions, app script, and see what we need to do if we have a range of values and want to increment and decrement across those using checkboxes. So here's the scripts that we previously used. And of course, I'm going to do a function on edit with the standard disclaimer. If not E, if it wasn't an edit, it was run from the editor. So do not run from editor. And let's call this add and decrease. No, let's just go all the way. Increment and decrement. So that function on source e dot source dot get active sheet and the range. And that range is actually going to be super, super important for us. Now, my only test condition is going to be if the columns are wrong and the sheet is wrong. So if source.getName not equal to checkbox or r.columnStart is less than two or r.columnStart is greater than three. Right, so if we're editing anything outside of here, and if we really wanted to, I could also say if the row is greater than 11, but right now I'm going to assume that there is nothing else happening below here. It's not like we're putting other data down here, which is bad spreadsheet practice anyway most of the time, but I'm just going to assume that's not the case. Now, that R value, that range is going to be super important because I'm going to do in a single function what the buttons took to. And I'm able to do that because we can use the range position offset. So we're going to do an if r.columnStart equals two. So if we're in this column, then r dot offset right just so we can move around on the sheet without actually having to call the sheet zero we're not going to move any i wish we could actually see this so it's saying first the row the number of rows to change we're not changing any rows saying on the same row number of columns negative one dot set value actually i want to call that range twice so let's make that let out out equals r dot offset zero comma one because I want to do out dot set value out dot get value plus one right so I'm getting the value there I'm getting the value adding one to it and then setting the value of that position. Here I can just do else. I don't need to say else r.columnStart equals three because using this if condition, it can only be position two or position three. If it's not position two, it's going to be position three. We can use almost the exact same code, but I'm going to do offset negative two columns, move two to the left and subtract one. That's it.
let's save it and check it out. So this four, I click here, increases to five, increases to six, decreases to eight. Now there's one other thing I want to add to this. I want to set so that it removes the checkbox after setting it, so that after changing the value, so that we can do it again. Right now, if I click it, it will do it again right now, but that doesn't really, that's not the way the human brain really works, is to check something to go down and then uncheck it. That's not what we want. We want it to uncheck at the end of the process. So for this one, r.setValue, and I believe it's all caps string false. Because if we look at that, that's what we see here, an all caps string of false. We already saved this, so let's try that. There you go. See, it increased it by one and removed the checkbox. Let's do it again. That's exactly what we want. Okay, and it's going to work over here as well. So that's it. We have our standard on edit to call the additional function. And our function first checks to make sure we're in the correct position. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped. Please like, subscribe, share, all the normal things. You can connect with me at these addresses below. And I do try to stay up to date and commenting and interacting on the comment section.